In this particular video, I'm going to show you some of the features for the page layout in the Easy Mobile Site Generator. You might find that some of the things I talk about in this video are duplicated in the other videos, but the other videos go in more detail uh, about these various features. So you really should watch those videos as well as this video here. Let's start by going into this uh, video, this mobile site here, test. It's just the one I said where I put a lot of things on a single page to be able to show you uh, certain features. So here's the text editing area here where we're going to uh, put some text in. But let me let me start off by going down to the bottom of the page to the preview section and explain a few things that we've got down here. Uh, we've got a top bar on the page here. We've got a logo area up here, a menu area here, and then some text down here. Um, a call out area here. This is a, a block court area. Um, I'll show you the block court in the editing box a little bit later. Um, more another block court area there. These are just headline uh, sizes. This is normal text. This is a click to call button here. Here we've got an opt in form. Um, directions area for the map and a map itself. And down here, just some examples of heading sizes, just to show me the different sizes, how big the, the heading sizes appear using the standard H1, H2, H3, H4, H5, and H6 uh, font sizes. So now that you've seen these things down here, let me go and explain a little bit more. Let me start off with menus. You see here I've got a, um, an icon-based menu, and it's got 3 by 2 so six, six icons here. Let me first of all show you by going up and dis changing the display from icon to vertical and just doing an update. And what we'll see then is that the menu style actually changes. So let me come down here. You see now instead of having the icons, I've got a vertical layer of uh, menu choices with arrows. Now these arrows can be changed and the icons can be changed. Let me go back up and show you where you change those. Those come in here where we change the icon. So you click here and you can change your icon to be anything you want. Um, maybe you want a, an ID card. So now we've got an ID card there. As you, as you select the things here, um, it automatically changes for you. If you want a different color, you can change the colors. Um, so we can have whatever color we want on there. If you want to have a custom thumbnail image um, or a custom icon image, just click upload here and you can use a normal WordPress system to upload images. So you can select files from your uh, computer and upload them. It's a standard WordPress um, image system, so you can use that there for that. Um, we've got themes. We can set the, the color, the background color here. I'm using black on gray. Let me just go down and uh, see that. That's black menu on a gray background. That's what that's meant to mean. Um, let me go up and change it just to something completely different so you can see what happens there. Let's change it to blue on white and do a, an update. So let's come down here and now we've got blue on a white background. So it's very similar to change the, the layout in that respect. Um, down here, let me just go back to these heading things, H1, H2, H3. Those on the editing area are just from here, H1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. So, for example, this here, I think, I believe it's an H2, yes, it's a heading 2, H2. This section here is um, block court section, I believe. Yes, it's, you can see the block court is, is checked there. So uh, in the themes, we can set the, the colors and 
the background and borders for the block court area. Um, what we've got here, this is a, a heading 3 up here. That one there, you see it's changed to heading 3. So all the, the layout is basically done by that, by menu position and things. Um, how these attributes move to other pages is this section here, where it says site or page. Here we're on the main site, and so it's always got to be that. But as we go down and, um, for example, if we were to go down to um, one of the pages that makes this up, say the product page, then depending on what we set here for use page or site settings, it would either use the settings from this set of settings here, which is the main site, or we could use individual settings on that individual page. So let, let's go to the products page like we did there. So let's go to our current site and go to our products page, which is this one here. So I've got a page here. Now, if I go down and look at what I've got down there, um, I'm using the, the standard theme there. There's nothing very much on it. If I wanted to use settings on this page, now I've set it to use the page, so now I'll use the page theme, which here I've got as a green on green. So if I do an update, And I come down. This particular page is using a green setting. So let's go back to the main part of our site up at the top. And let's look at that on the preview. You see, we're still using the blue on white at this point. But if I click on products, now the products page is using the green on green theme. So you, you can set individual pages to have their own themes and their own colour schemes. And in a separate video, you'll find you'll see me showing how to actually create new themes and change the colours on particular themes. Okay, what else shall we tell you about this? This page title here um, sets what goes on the top bar which is up here, let me just go back to where I'm at the main site, what goes there, and also it also affects what goes in for the menu choices here. We've done thumbnail images, menu styles, the menu position, um, you'll see this in another uh, video, but it can be either at the top, which is what I've got now, or at the um, point somewhere within the page or at the bottom of the page. Say for instance I change this from top to bottom and did an update. And now I go down here. You see now I don't have a menu at the top of the, the screen here. But if I go all the way down to the very bottom, I've got a menu right at the very bottom. So we can control where the menu appears and how you want to lay out the individual pages on a page-by-page -page basis or a site-by-site -site basis. So lots of flexibility in how you lay things out. Go through all the other videos and see in detail how each of the various features work. This little section here um, comes from the block quote that I mentioned earlier. Um, let's show you a bit more exactly how that works so you can see how to actually implement it. Let's maybe make this little text area here um, above stylish templates technology into a block quote as well. And you'll see it will change from being just like normal paragraph text like this to being sort of uh, with a blue background colour behind there. So let's just go and show you how to how to do that.
Um, so it's just below the this part here, stylish template technology. So if I just highlight that, click block quote on it, update. And if we go down now to our preview and go down to just below where it said stylish templates, which is there, stylish templates, you see now it's changed and now it's on this blue background. And you can change this color and the layout, whether it has a border around or not, in the theme itself. So it, it's very easy to do all these different layouts and things like that um, using the different styling options. Uh, these are just headlines, so very very simple to, to lay out. Um, but this this particular page here actually gives you a very very good example of how you can do the different things on the page, all the different uh, parts, uh, elements that we can put together to to make a site. Uh, but go all the way through all the videos and uh, make sure you learn all the different uh, little techniques that can be applied to the various sites. I think just before I finalize this uh, video, let's go and quickly show you how to change that block quote in the theme so you understand how the themes interface um, with the site. So it's blue at the moment with the no, no uh, noticeable board around it. Let's just quickly, we're using the blue on white theme here. Let me go to blue on white. Blue on white is this one. And here's the block quote setting. So let's just change the background color of that to be green, a green color there. Just that color there. Um, we could change the border. Uh, let's change the let's, let's change the border as well. Let's change, make the border a, a black type color um, solid and make, make it very very distinctive. So I just made these changes just so you can see the effect that this has by changing the theme itself and now go back to that uh, page and let's look and see how that changes things there on our block quote area. So you see all the different block quotes I've got in our green with a black board around so it's very, very simple for you to change the interface itself and change the styles. So again, go through all the videos, learn all the different techniques that are available in Easy Mobile Site Generator, and you'll soon be creating really awesome looking mobile websites very, very quickly.